ages. So I thought I'd do a video to update you of what's going to be happening over the next year because it's a new academic year. I've been out of education for like two years, but still it feels like it's a new year. So I thought I could update you on that. And what's happened in my acting kind of life in the past few months because I've not posted a video in ages and I've not even posted an interview which I usually do every month I've just kind of gone so I thought I needed to say something and for ages I was thinking like what if it's not a big enough update what if it's not interesting enough but the reality is in acting is that there's so many times when it is quiet um, and it's not even been quiet, but it's just been nothing notable to say, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> sometimes you just don't have something big to announce and say. It's not that you're not auditioning for stuff, it's just there's nothing big to announce and that's normal and we should, I guess, be sharing that as much as we're sharing all of the other big things. So first of all, how was National Youth Theatre? I did that for two and a half weeks, I did my intake course at the end of August and it was really good and I met so many interesting people and I feel like I knew so much more by the end of it and I hadn't done much theatre training recently I'd done mostly screen so I feel like that's made me a lot more comfortable because I've done theatre auditions since then and I feel like I'm way more comfortable in them so I really actually did love National Youth Theatre and I met so many cool people and it's a really great experience. Uh, it's, it's a lot of money but it's a good experience if you can find a way to get to do it. And next update is work. I have been starting to do more extra work recently. I think there's just more projects filming at the moment. So I've been doing that and I've been busy with some of my other jobs. Theatre technician work, I've been doing that. I've been doing social media for a charity. So I've been doing a few different jobs but the thing is with doing freelance work is that you have some times where like you're really busy and you've got loads of shifts really close together and other times where you're like oh there's not much work on offer for this week. So I'm trying to earn a bit more because I want to be able to move out and I want to be able to have a life and <laughs> not just like be a struggling actor because that's not really helpful in life, like you need to have money. Also what I've been doing is I've actually managed to get in the audition room a lot more and I don't know if that's because it's kind of September time so a lot of the stuff that goes on with performing in schools is auditioning and casting and also the stuff in the lead up to Christmas. So I've had a few professional auditions and I also auditioned for Frantic Assemblies Ignition program which I didn't get into but I think that's such a great example of something that can be some really good training that's not drama school because I didn't know about it before but it's basically this course where for a whole week you're funded to be in Brixton and you learn all about physical theatre because if you didn't know Frantic Assemblies a physical theatre company so they do lifts a lot of movement work and you learn about that and you devise a whole show and then you perform that at the end of the week you do two performances and then also they do mentoring for you after and I thought that's such an incredible opportunity and you can audition if you're between 16 and 24 so I will audition for that every year because I've become a bit frantic assembly obsessed because the auditions are just free workshops and you get to learn so much about physical theatre and I learned so much there and I don't know why I just really love physical theatre now in a new way like I'm a bit obsessed but I'm just feeling really lucky at the moment actually because I think I've always been told that if you're under 21 which I am I'm 20 or even if you're under 30 and you've not had that formal drama school training behind you it can be so difficult to get seen for stuff when you don't have an agent but I think because I've been to National Youth Theatre maybe that's part of the reason why I'm getting seen more because maybe having that name behind me and also I went to the television workshop in Nottingham I can say that now because I'm not there anymore so I feel like I can just announce that I went to the television workshop in Nottingham their monthly group for two years and that is kind of a big like res respected name if people know what it is then people respect it because it's a really good place and I really love my time there so I think that the fact that I've got that kind of training behind me and I've started to do more 
and I've done short films and I have short film footage that I can show. I feel like people are starting to allow me to be in more audition rooms. And I'm gonna try and look at getting an agent as well because I think I do have better material now to send off to agents. And also, I think when I was 18 and fresh out of school, I wouldn't have been ready for the kind of professional auditions and dealing with self-tapes at short notice. I feel like that would have stressed me out and I didn't have the training and the ability to handle that. But now I feel like I have the ability to handle a lot more auditions. Another thing I'm doing is looking for more work because I would like to be earning more and having a more consistent level of hours every week so I kind of want to find another charity I could do the social media for on a flexible basis. I'm also considering whether or not I want to audition for drama school this year because I didn't audition last year but I think I've seen that drama school can open a lot of doors at the end of it with building connections in the industry which is something that I'm looking to do in order to get more auditions and get more work. So if it could help with that, and I do love training, I do love a good acting class, and I think that could help me progress as an actor and be better in the audition room. So I could consider that, but I don't think you need drama school to be able to be a good actor, and I think I've done a lot of training without that, and I've had a lot of opportunities without that. So I'm gonna decide where I'm at with that, cause the audition fees are quite expensive, it's, it's just a process and it's just a whole big thing so I'm going to consider it and I might as well audition and go in with an open mind. I'm not sure, I'm just open to a lot of things at the moment and that's where I'm at and I think quite a lot of the time there's not a big like oh I'm doing this show, there's not a big this is a big thing that's happening with my training. Sometimes. You're just working on a lot of different things and it's not that you're not busy it's just you don't have a big kind of like news headline of this is what's going on in my acting at the moment but that's where i'm at if you want to share where you're at in your acting journey and if you want to talk about acting share advice share experiences in the comments then please do because i love to speak to people who watch these and i'll see you in another video and um, please subscribe as well because that would really help my acting journey and really help just generally if you could subscribe so please do that thank you so much for watching bye